Did you know babies born as young as 21 weeks and 6 days can survive? This baby represents a baby at 22 weeks gestation. At 24 weeks, ultrasounds show babies hiccuping, squinting, smiling, and frowning. At what stage of development could you track a moving light through your mom's belly? If you guessed 28 weeks, you're correct. During that same week of prenatal development, eyelashes are present. Do you know which of your major organs was last to develop? If you guess the lungs, you are correct. Science confirms that your lungs began to mature around 34 weeks. The next two resources I have to share with you are the abortion and organ and hard cases brochures. Unfortunately, Oregon does not have any restrictions or regulations for abortion facilities. Abortion is legal and taxpayer funded in Oregon. Abortion providers in Oregon are not required to be a licensed medical doctor. Did you know veterinarians and tattoo parlors are more heavily regulated by the state health department than businesses that perform abortions? Are you aware that over 95% of all abortions in the U.S. are performed for reasons other than rape, incest, or health concerns? Is abortion a compassionate choice for any of these hard cases? Most women who had an abortion due to a hard case report regret following their abortion. How rare are abortions due to hard cases? Only about 1% of all abortions per year are because of rape, incest, or to save the life of the pregnant woman. Fortunately, women have alternatives to abortion. This Stand Up Girl card offers web-based pregnancy support as well as referrals to local pregnancy care centers. Most pregnancy centers offer free pregnancy tests, ultrasounds, options counseling, post-abortion recovery support, maternity and baby supplies. Pregnancy care centers also offer one-on-one -on -one support throughout your pregnancy, as well as referrals for housing and parenting courses, all free of charge. Some of our most impactful volunteers and speakers are those who have had abortions. We have several wonderful resources for post-abortion recovery. The card that I have in my hand is abortionchangesyou.com. Other resources include Save One, Silent No More, Heart, Rachel's Vineyard, Smart, and StandUpGirl.com. Thank you for visiting our virtual booth. I hope you have a better understanding of the pro-life resources that Oregon Right to Life Education Foundation has available for you. Please don't hesitate to contact us.